It is an honor to be with all of you this evening. I will tell you that I have the opportunity in my job to do a lot of really cool things. When you get to speak before a Nobel Prize winner, that's about as cool as it gets. Uh, the real reason we are here is to celebrate Kailash and his three decades of service uh, to rid the world of child labor. And he has been a close ally and friend of the US Department of Labor uh, for calling for global change in action. So without further ado, let me introduce our Nobel Prize uh, winner, because he truly belongs to all of us, Kailash Satyarthi. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Secretary. Uh, Chris Liu and uh, Ambassador Peter. Uh, I, I cannot think uh, my fight against child labor without the United States government and the people. The civil society organizations, the trade unions, and the US administration has been the biggest moral support and even political support uh, and I will go beyond that because I have been attacked several times in my life, very badly attacked. I have my left uh, foot broken, my backbone broken, my right shoulder is broken, I cannot lift it properly. Um, but each time, actually, I could recall three or four times when I was badly attacked and injured in hospitals. Um, my very close friend, my, old bro uh, my elder brother, Senator Tom Harkin was among the first to call me and my wife and my children to console that we are all with you. Talk of Senator Harkin. Uh, the world cannot imagine the fight without Senator Harkin, the fight against child labor. Uh, he has been the backbone. And of course, Duel has been the backbone in supporting IPAC. Every time when I see the support and people um, here and anywhere in the world who have uh, a, a, a vibrant, a, a, a compassionate heart for children, my belief in myself and my belief in the humanity, but my belief in the evolution of child labor goes deeper and deeper and stronger and stronger. And that's why when I say that we have to see the end of child labor in our lifetime, I seriously mean it. 35 years ago, when I started uh, my fight, uh, nobody was there to listen. Even my own friends and family members uh, thought that I'm a crazy guy. But I started in 1981. Um, so we slowly, gradually progressed. And uh, this is the recognition, as I said to all of you who believe in childhood and freedom and dignity of human beings, but also the biggest uh, recognition to the children who are still waiting for me and you, the children who are still in slavery, the children who are still sold and bought, they are all waiting. Otherwise, this whole Nobel Prize or whatever we are doing, at least I am doing, is, is useless for me. So I have to respond to all those children, and I seek your support for that. because. Uh, I'm sure that uh, we will fight and we will win. We will win. <laughs>